Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video here on Jacob's Aquarium. So, I was contacted by Fluval and they asked me if I wanted to review one of their newest canister filters and I said absolutely yes because I've been trying to work with Hagen for a long time. I've contacted them to ask them if I can review some of their stuff and I haven't really gotten a response but just out of nowhere they contacted me this time and uh, asked me if I wanted to review their new canister filter. So I was like, yeah, finally, let's do it. So they sent me a Fluval uh, 107 and um, they actually sent me two. Uh, there's a little bit of a mix up in the shipping process. Um, like I think I got somebody else's order or something in the beginning, um, but they did ship me the canister filter in the beginning, but um, I guess they didn't think they shipped me the canister filter, so they sent me two. So I currently have one running on my tank at home and this is the second one that they sent me. I honestly can say with 100% confidence and I'm putting Jacob's Aquarium my name on this seal of approval that this is the best canister filter that I've ever owned in my entire time in the aquarium hobby and I say that because I have not owned a canister filter as efficient as quiet and as powerful as this one I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible because I know unboxings are kind of boring sometimes because you're just basically watching somebody take things out of a box <laughs> This packaging, I mean, look at this. Look at all this beautiful artwork and information, pictures about of the inside of the filter, what it comes with, you know, the different media that you can buy for it and everything. I mean, take a look at that. You know, this packaging is gorgeous. Look at this. Shows in detail everything you need to know about what you're actually buying. Let me tell you, there's nothing worse than being at a pet store, fish store, or whatever, and looking at a filter or, or something you want to buy for your aquarium, and it just says like something generic on the packaging, like, you know, a uh, filter tube. And it's like, okay, well, can you tell me more about it? Like, what, like, what, what is it made out of? Like, <laughs> there's really not a lot of information. But uh, with this, with Fluval's packaging, I just love how there's so much information about what you're actually buying. So while you're in the store, you can really, really honestly know what you're getting and determine if it's right for you. Comes with this package uh, that includes the filter intakes, uh, these things to secure the hoses to your tank, uh, rubber O-ring that uh, creates a nice seal so there's no the canister filter doesn't leak, and this outtake tube right here, and th and this part that connects to the canister filter where the intake and outtake tubes connect as well. And uh, this thing is actually really cool. We'll talk more about this um, in a little bit, uh, but this allows you to disconnect the counter filter from the filter tube without spilling any water on the ground, which is really nice because I remember back in the day, uh, like when I had my high door canister filter, I made a bunch of videos about that, I'm sure you guys remember. Um, that filter, <laughs> whenever I serviced that filter, um, disconnecting the tubes and just taking it you know, to the sink to clean it was always a mess and it was always so frustrating. So next you get some tubing as well. This is really, really nice. I'm, I'm glad that they included tubing, this type of plastic tubing, not the vinyl tubing. I don't know about you guys, but I hate vinyl tubing. Vinyl tubing tends to kink a lot. Uh, it's very hard to, to shape it, and especially if you're trying to shape it over the rim of an aquarium, it's very, very frustrating because you can never get it to a perfect you know, U shape. But this plastic tubing is very, very, very easy to manipulate. As you can see, you can bend it all kinds of different ways. And after a while it does hold its shape, you do kind of have to like keep bending it a little bit. But look it, it doesn't kink, nothing. So, which is obviously really important with the canister filter. You don't want to set up your canister filter and then come home and realize that your your tubing has kinked and that, you know, your canister filter has exploded or something because the water pressure. Like I'm not sure, I'm not too sure what happens after that. Um, but I know it's definitely not a good thing. But the tubing they include is very, very strong, it's very durable. The, uh, the points that connect to the canister filter are, are watertight, very, very secure, and the tubing is just really pliable and you can form it into any shape. And I just love that they included this type of tubing with their filter rather than the vinyl tubing that most uh, manufacturers include with their canister filters that just honestly, for lack of a better word, sucks. <laughs> I definitely should have consulted this when I set up my canister filter. When I set up my uh, 107, I thought, oh, you know, I've done this before, I know what to do, but there were some hidden features on, in this canister filter that I had no idea about. For example, when I was setting it up, 
I was trying to prime it to get the filter going. Um, and as much as I primed it, it never turned on. It never started working. But little did I know, because I did not read the manual, you have to flip a little gray switch at the bottom of the canister filter to get the water flowing through. And that little gray switch is what you uh, flip back up to cut the water flow so that you can easily service this canister filter. Like I said, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But trust me guys, there are some things about this canister filter that are different than what you're probably used to if you haven't set up a canister filter in a long time. So definitely consult the manual. This is a Fluvo 107 and now they do make canister filters for tanks that range all the way up to 500 gallons. So if you have a large tank, they can definitely help you out with that. They can definitely uh, filter a large tank with uh, this line of canister filters. Now when I first took it out of the box, when I unboxed the first one that they sent me, I was very, very, um, very satisfied with the build quality. This thing is made out of really heavy duty plastic. Uh, it feels like it's built like a tank. Um, a lot of canister filters that I've bought in the past when I've used them, you know, they just, they, they feel really flimsy. You know, they feel like they were just made with really cheap injection molding, uh, plastic, uh, you know, uh, manufacturing. It didn't really feel like there was a uh, real quality to it, you know? But when I took this out of the box, I was like, man, this plastic is like, I mean, look, if you press on it, like you can't even bend it. It's not even pliable. This, this plastic's very, very thick. So this plastic will last for a very long time. And I say plastic because, I mean, it is plastic, which we like to associate plastic with being cheap but this is not just your average plastic. It's very, very durable. And like I said, I was very, very impressed with the build quality. Now to open it up, this is all you do. You do that and then just press up, very simple. And then these things come out like this. And this is the underside of the filter. Um, and as you can see, you can, you can remove all these things to clean the impeller and all these little parts of the filter, which is nice. You wanna definitely be able to get into all those tiny areas to keep your filter clean. Now inside the filter is where everything happens and where I was really, um, not shocked, but once again, really satisfied with the, uh, the design, you know, as far as, you know, how water moves through the filter. So one of the things that I really try to look for when I buy a canister filter is one that offers no water bypass. That means no water is going anywhere else besides through the media that's in the filter. Um, and definitely, the Fluva 107 achieves that. This part connects to this little hole right here and it connects so well. And there's actually, it feels like there's like some rubber right here as well. So it kind of has like a rubber seal, kind of like the O-ring that goes around the uh, top of the canister filter to create the watertight seal. But the part where the water actually comes in through is uh, secured very tightly to uh, the intake of that goes that sends water through the media. So that means that there's really no water bypass. And that's great, that's what we need when it comes to the canister filter. If you have water bypass, the filter is not doing its job, you know? So underneath this first compartment here, you have a, a section where you can put either a bag of activated carbon or some bio media. I don't use carbon in any of my filters, I never have. Uh, so I'll probably just put some some bio media in there once I service the filter for the first time because the filter's up and running now so I don't have anything in here but I will put some stuff in there uh, when I uh, service it. So to pull out the second compartment you just lift this little red tab right here very simple very easy and then you have your two compartments right here. So like I said you can put bio media in here and then of course at the uh, the one that's at the bottom I always you know recommend that you put some type of mechanical uh, filtration media whatever in your your filter so you do get a um, cotton filter pad and then you get another like bio pad type thing it's made out of foam you know so that should do a great job of filtering out all those fine particles uh, in the tank I think this was really creative I like these little compartments like this I, th I just think that was really cool so that's the first compartment and it's great that you have two, so you have options. And this is one of their smaller filters. So, um, you know, you get two compartments in a smaller filter, you know, which is kind of rare. Most of the time in these smaller canister filters, there's not really a lot of room to put a lot of media, but they do give you two compartments, which is nice. So on this side, 
Um, on this side, this is just another side of the filter where you can put some more uh, biofoam. And you know, the thing I like about this type of media is it lasts for a really long time. You can continue to, you know, uh, use and reuse these. You basically just have to spray them off with the hose. You know, they come off very easily. So the, this type of media is really easy uh, to maintain and it'll save you some money. Uh, because like I said, you can keep reusing it and that just goes in this side of the filter right here Again guys, this is where reading the manual is very important because you do not Want to set this canister filter up without putting the o-ring in the top of the filter The o-ring is what creates that watertight seal. Okay, it goes right here on the outer side of the canister filter and just slips in there. It kind of falls into a little groove, okay? Just like that. And then once you put the O-ring on there, you just put the top of the filter, the filter <laughs> back onto the canister, and then it locks into place very, very easy. Just like that. And then make sure these two things snap. So very easy to uh, put together to install. Uh, this is the priming uh, function right here. This is what you can use to prime the filter. Now, I don't know about you guys, but you know, back in the day with other canister filters, <laughs> it was so frustrating to get them to start working. I'd usually have to put my garden hose in the intake side to get the water flowing through the canister filter. But now with these newer filters, you know, it's just, you know, one, two, three, and it starts working. It's so much easier. You know, you younger hobbyists out there, you guys don't know how easy you have it now, trust me. Because back in the day, it used to be so much more difficult to get these canister filters running. So this is the top part of the filter and it does have two o-rings right here and these two o-rings also create a watertight seal and this is what uh, this is what the intake and outtake tubes connect to so we'll just i'll put that in here for you right now so when you put this into the top of the filter you make sure that this is flipped up just like this okay and then press down just like that and then you'll hear that click and that go down now this is the mistake I made. I actually broke this red piece off because I tried to press it down when I was pushing this in here. Don't press down on this, okay? This this can be handy if you would like to um, take this piece out. But as far as putting this piece in, don't press down on this. Press down on these two parts just like that, okay? So once you've done that, this... <laughs> and I laugh because this is just... Like, this was the funniest thing to me. So... As I said in the beginning of the video, when I first installed this, installed this filter, I was constantly trying to prime it and prime it and it wouldn't get going. But then I, I looked at this and I'm like, oh, you just need to do that. <laughs> so this is what uh, cuts the water flow and gets water flowing through the tube. So make sure to do that as well, okay? I want to talk about this just real quick because this was super frustrating to me. I was trying so many times to get the, the filter tubes connect, connected to the intake and outtakes of the canister filter and I was putting this thing on here which by the way this is like a locking coupler type thing and I could not get it to screw down so then I finally just had a moment I stared at this filter for a while and I was like okay wait a minute you do this and then you do that <laughs> and that's what secures the tubing to the filter so I just wanted to share that because I know most likely there's people out there like me that you know they're not really uh they're, they're not they're not really too quick you know with their mind <laughs> so um you know i had trouble with that but once i took some time to think about it um you know that's how you do it so i thought i'd share that with you guys in case you guys were getting frustrated just like i was trying to uh get the the intake and outtake tube on this so i will be making more videos about this filter as i continue to use it but it's been up and running for a little bit now and I absolutely love this filter. The last thing I'll say about this is I love having fish tanks in my room, my bedroom, you know, where I sleep, but I'm the type of person that if it's not silent in my room, I can't fall asleep. And for the longest time, I've struggled with that with my aquariums. I've, I've turned my aquariums off at night, which really you shouldn't do. I've turned filters off and things like that to just make them quiet. But with this canister filter, I don't have to do that. This thing is so quiet. And it actually, it says in Fluval's marketing, Hagen's marketing, whatever you want to call it, that it's 25% quieter than their previous models. Well, if their previous models were 25% louder, I would even say that their previous models are quiet. 
this thing is absolutely silent. You don't even know it's working most of the time unless you look at water going into your tank. So guys, I absolutely love this filter. I'm putting my name on it. My seal of approval, Jacob's Aquarium, fully approves of this filter. And like I said, and this is, this took me a little bit to come to this conclusion and to actually say this because I only want to promote things that I truly believe in and that truly work and work to the, to the best of their ability um, and are honest and proven and everything uh, to you guys because I only want you guys to you know support the best and have the best and support companies that really take time and effort and research and do research into their products to make them the best that they can be for their hobbyists and Fluval Hagen they have definitely done that they've they've listened to us they've listened to hobbyists they've implemented certain features they've uh, definitely done a great job with build quality water flow performance uh, you know silent operation like I said this is the best canister filter I have ever owned in my entire time in the aquarium hobby okay and I give it my seal of approval so if you're looking for a canister filter go out and buy one you will not regret you will not regret it you will only be satisfied with the performance and everything that you get out of this filter it is amazing okay so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it don't forget if you're in the market for aquarium plants visit jacobsaquarium.com where i have almost 100 different species of species of aquatic plants to choose from also don't forget to check me out on social media I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All my social media links will be in the description below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun with your tanks, and I'll see you next time.